Hello and welcome to another Wayne Retro Robin show. So today I'm going to review one game and I'm going to review magnifying glasses. Right. If you're anything like me and you're in your 40s or you're getting on in life and if you're not then you're lucky. Enjoy your youth while it lasts because it will be gone in a fleeting moment honestly. And you're doing soldering and you're doing surface mounted soldering and of course you find that your spectacles or eyesight are not quite enough you may need to use a few extra devices we call them magnifying glasses, magnifying lenses, winkles and all sorts but I'm going to review a few today and we're going to start with this which is great, I'm sure you'll recognise this, you put the magnifying glass it's it's perfect for little things that you're soldering because these grips hold it in place and if you want to use just the magnifying glass I turn it right over and I just put that up to but obviously it doesn't have a great reach but, yeah. I actually use that to solder up a S uh, video mod module recently for the Spectrum which I'll show you now, I'll just put that down It was perfect for doing that, as you can see. Oh, look, Mr. Blobby strikes again. That's me. That's not too bad soldering, is it, really? But yeah, I've got one of them ready for me to give it a go and, and fit into the deserved spectrum that's... I won't take a good working uh, RF out unless it's sort of past it and there's no way I can repair it, so I always keep them. Put that back. Well, obviously, if you can't lift the circuit board, you can always use something like that. I like that because it's got a little magnifying lens in, so you can get really close to it. Um, also, you press the button, and of course, well, hey, you've got lights. And that's pretty good, pretty handy, but obviously, that's just a standard kit. You should, everyone should have one of them, shouldn't they, really? Good lens, good quality, enjoyed that. You can buy various handheld uh, magnifiers, quite light, actually. You know, so it can't be glass, it must be plastic. But it doesn't feel plastic, it feels like glass, but hell, you can't tell these days. And then I decided to spend my money on that. Which is actually surprisingly comfortable, but the problem is I do find that you have to get quite, imagine that I'm soldering, you have to get quite close to the keyboard, and then before you know it, you're bringing your soldering iron in, you're knocking your glasses. They also have little lights on them, which you you can yeah to help focus which are on little twist things as you can twist them to wherever you need to focus your light to and turn those off a second they also come with additional lenses and that wasn't that much in price that was only about 9.99 the additional lenses you fit on there and they just basically whoops twist on twist in click for a more powerful view. They're not bad, they're quite comfortable actually but after a bit they, they am quite weighty as you can imagine um, but ideally you know um, you don't want to be having using anything this is great the only problem is with this, I've lost the battery thing and it does have its magnifying glass it has a clip there which basically clips on there and then you can neutralize it to wherever you want it to be but sometimes it does spring back, it's a little bit tricky to use but once it's in place it's great, you can clearly see what it is you're going to solder in but at the end of the day nothing beats these the classic eye winkle which you know you can just stick that in your eye and you basically clamp your eye down to hold it in place um, so eventually it will oops, fall on the floor and you'll end up chasing it several times while you're soldering but yeah, so what do I rate as the best? Well obviously where you don't have to use your hands, that is the best. But it's just awkward, you know, on that flexi bending it into the right place to keep it there. Because obviously it does spring back a bit sometimes. But um, for small stuff, that is perfect. For small solder, uh, solder mount soldering. Um, and for soldering with two wires together, it's perfect. That is just great for checking over what you've done. It's hard to use while you're soldering because 
you need your hands free. So in that case I'll rate that as number one because it's by far the best. And I'm sorry but I've got to put that fourth. But they're all useful in their own right. Don't get me wrong. They suit certain different jobs. But you, to me, that's my go-to device for when it comes to soldering. Um, and I usually have to pick it up off the floor a few times. Because they tend to drop out my eyes. It's a bit like the earphones that you get. You know where it's a Bluetooth earphone. You stick it in your ear. And for the first few seconds they kind of stay in there. But then they sort of get slippery with a wax or something out your ear. <laughs> or, sorry, the sweat maybe. And before you know it, you can't get the buggers to stay in place. Right, without any further ado, let's quickly review again, which is what I am like to do. And today, let's just see the camera working. Nice big screen for you at the Retro Robin Show today. Stop the music because this... It's a quality game, I'm quite impressed with it. It's called Super Kid. And it amazingly gives you the option of having a mono or a colour screen. But why would you go mono in this day and age? Um, it's a superhero type spoof. I'm quite impressed with it. So let's give it a go. It's daylight. You happen to be that kid, and yes, you can actually fly, fly between the screens. Um, you can fly around, anything that moves basically is a bad guy. Ooh. Oops, got him. You've got to go collect various items, and the screens are quite cool actually. Slight lag as it changes over, but we can live with that. You can even fly as high as the sky. Amazing, quite a big, big map to be honest. Um, I haven't worked out what 100% what you're going to do, but I tell you what, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy playing it. It is quite, quite good. Ah, oh, you have to rescue her. Ah, oh, not if he shoots her first. But I think she does come back. And then you basically rescue her from whatever. You have to go around rescuing them people, and you get points for doing that. Taking him to the floor in distress. I don't know how many of them you have to do, but yeah. Overall playability. Oh no. Uh, it's not bad at all. I'm quite impressed. Yeah. Colourful. Enjoyable. Um, sounds a bit lacking. There's no AY sound. It's all bleeper. Um, if you're gonna want to wait, maybe they can do. I believe there is a follow-up Super Kid too, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, I'll give it a go, but yeah, there's a game if you haven't seen this before give it a go if you have then You know you probably do better than me on it anyways. I like the little pow as you hit them. You know, I have to take that pow In fact, you don't have to hit them. You just fly into them and um, well, Obviously, you've got to rescue everything that's above So there's another damsel in distress. Let's bring it to safety You should have the option to be a girl as a super kid shouldn't you and rescuing boys <laughs> which in this day and age would be all politically correct. <laughs> and there you go, that's Super Kid. Well, if you haven't seen it before, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy these little small videos that I do, then please subscribe and uh, I'll definitely do a few more. And a few more reviews on different equipment used for people who are dabbling in their own little bit of soldering or doing their own equipment. In the meantime, I'm glad you could join me, and I'll see you again soon. And uh, if you're at the start of the week, have a great working week. The only news today is that I think we're at 1.1... Maybe 1.5 million now on the Super Kickstarter for the Spectrum Next issue too. Please get involved in that, it's great. There's only one more stretch goal to go. And uh, because we've hit a certain stretch goal, uh, Jim is uh, the king of coders. He's going to program a football game for us. Ooh, how wonderful. <laughs> Didn't mean to sound cynical there. He'd come across all wrong, honest. Um, not really into football games, but I don't know. I kind of got into Match Day 2 and I kind of got bored of it. <laughs> and that's enough from me. I'll let uh, the super kid just click these last few points and probably end up dying. 
Hope you enjoyed today's show. Look forward to speaking to you again soon. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, which I always find it hard to say that. And uh, you have a good working week. Bye for now.